I'm here at Calico Ghost Town, a place where historical interpreters, aka community college dropouts with a drinking problem, dress up like it's the old times. Also, an interesting little wrinkle going on today, there are Halloween festivities, you know, for children. And a lot of their parents look like Trump supporting gun odors. Could get dangerous. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow, blacksmith shop. Here we go. How you doing, sir? Good. See, this is what I like. This is real, unfiltered, old west. And I intend to learn more about it. Sir, what's going on? I'm Klaus von Schlemmenhammer, the town black. Are you straight out of Germany? Yeah. What's your last name? Schlemmenhammer. There's no way a blacksmith's last name is really Schlemmenhammer. Is it your apprentice German as well? No. I'm great. No, I don't hear much of an accent on you, my friend. Are you making a heart? So this is glorified arts and crafts. How's it going, kids? I know you guys are young. You're gonna have to enter the workforce soon. The only advice I can offer is don't be a blacksmith. That market, it's dry. Making doodads and knickknacks out of metal and fire, not only is it economically not feasible, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. See, what I actually did right there is I ensured that you won't have any competition in the future. Those youngins aren't gonna be setting up shop right across the street from you. What are you planning to do with that heart? How much does that sell for? Seven bucks or two for 15. Oh, this one's Is it cool? <laughs> Where should I put this? That may send off the wrong image there. Well, your master's German. He's no stranger to sexual kinks because he shits on people. Might have been a stretch, that one. I'm still Thank quite you. young. I haven't learned all these. How old are you? 14. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. You're going to be a real good blacksmith. What? You play piano. Why is that? Because I have dainty fingers? No, because your fingers are wrong. I play piano. There's another job I should have based on a long appendage of mine. Porn star. If you like degeneracy and uh, burning in hell, then yeah, I guess. Wow, it comes out! <laughs> we knew we were in the right place here. He's got the evangelical attitude of somebody from this era. <coughs> what is this town simulating? 1840s? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Will I really burn in hell if I go to the San Fernando Valley and be a poor? Wow. Second Corinthians chapter nine. Now I rejoice, not that you were made sorry, but that your sorrow led to repentance. For you were made sorry in a godly manner, that you might suffer loss from us enough. I'm, all this talk of being made sorry, I just had visions of myself strapped to their furnace, being slowly tortured with white hot pieces of steel. No, no, not again, not again. Ah! Ah! And then it's gonna go to my testes for that comment I made about my long appendage. Well, what's with you in mentioning your long appendage? Well, <laughs> it's an honest to God 12 And uh, one shouldn't be modest about what they do well. Right, Hammaker? Are you looking for trouble? I'm telling you, if I find you walking around my streets again. These are my streets, boy. I'll knock every tooth out of your mouth, including those back molars. Well, I got back molars for a reason. I'm that old. You're older than the silver in them mines. Uh, that's pretty much. That's why I'm still here. You're gonna drop dead of a heart attack when I draw. Uh, I don't think so. Pulling the trigger will be beside the point for me. Yeah, but I'm good at missing. I'm even better at hitting. I'm pretty good at hitting myself. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Yeah. Tell him you'll never clear leather. What does that mean? You'll never get your gun out of the leather holster. By <laughs> oh, the I like I that. that shit, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Never clear leather, brother. That's the problem. Is my cowboy lexicon isn't as good as yours. I, I, um, I think all of us are chuckling right now, me, Nico, and Chad, because Maggie Mine has an interesting nickname. Well, I don't even want to say it out loud because it's so inappropriate. I'm going to take it up with a mineshaft tender. 
I'm gonna take it up with a mine shaft employee. What are they called? Mine shaft. Fucking dropper inners? I don't know. I'm gonna take it up with a miner. Yeah. Not one of the underage kids around here. I'm gonna take it up with a guy with a missing tooth and a pickaxe. Making a We're making something. I um I heard this Maggie Mine has a nickname though. Maggie Mine. It said on the sign something else though. Oh, uh, that's just part of the... You guys are such children. <laughs> I'm not the one who wrote it on the sign. Well, you gotta, you gotta remember that, you know, from the 1880s to now... I had a bad experience in a Barnes & Noble bathroom. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I don't want to go in this mine if something similar no, might happen. No, so, uh, the glory hole. She had to take it into the potty. I'm sorry, everyone. So the, she said it, not me. Well, the glory hole is where it says where about... It's actually about $65,000 worth of silver was taken out of the mine. Uh, so the story, and about uh, 600,000 yeah. sperms. <laughs> the story is that a schoolboy was either coming to or from school. And he was walking at the top and he found a chunk of silver. At what point in that parable does somebody pull their penis out? Because I was really waiting for it. I like you, Amy. I like you too. You're a cool guy. Yeah. Maybe we could, you know, <laughs> tour the glory hole together sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But it is really cool. This is a, a real authentic silver mine from the 1880s. It's, mm -hmm. This one is only a thousand feet. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. You were delightful. You're, You're delightful. Thanks. Huh? So, Follow me, you guys. Dead. Stay Just close. stay to the right-hand side. You're going to reach a dead end. When uh -huh. you're done there, turn back around. Stay to the right again. Reach the exit. Sending into the glory hole. <laughs> Things you have to look out for in here. Methane leaks, cavins, and dicks. <laughs> no, look at this. This language is intentionally chosen. The massive ore bucket was hoisted up to the surface for emptying, since at this point in the mountain it was closer to the top. Maybe don't have her read any of the placards either. They're a little inappropriate. Uh, no, stop. Massive ore buckets were hoisted to the surface <laughs> where 16 shirtless does, sailors dropped to their cool. knees and pleasured the ore bucket workers until there was spunk until kingdom come. That's aggressive. <laughs> you wrote it, not me. <laughs> Gonna disinfect. You feel, you feel dirty after that one? You gotta go repent? To say the least, baby. <laughs> to say the least. So you are part of the performances here at the Calico Ghost Town. Yes. Tell us which instrument you play. Instrument? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more of a dancer, I'm more of a performer. And I saw performer. you with an ax in your hand, what? don't be modest. <laughs> an ax in my hand? An ax meaning, <laughs> And a lot of people wonder what it's like to be Jimmy Page, to be Eddie Van Halen, to hit that solo and command the crowd. I mean, you're a man who knows. I feel like a superstar. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just a star on stage. Absolutely, yeah. and off stage as well. Oh, <laughs> meaning that in the trailer after the performance is where the party really starts. Okay. I'm talking about there the. I'm talking about the. <laughs> I'm talking about the. <laughs> what is the name of your band? This is uh, we perform with the Twinkle Time. Twinkle Time. Twinkle Time. Now yes. we heard Twinkle Time yes. is renowned for thrashing hotel rooms and using in the brown. <laughs> Since when? Twinkle time. Since where? Since Google was existed. Twinkle time is I looked it up. Family, a family show. Mainly for kids. When Twinkle Time gets off stage, uh -huh. I, uh, no doubt it's a draining experience. Every word you say into your microphone when you're singing backup vocals is echoed from the six-year-olds in the crowd. Oh yeah, absolutely. That can give one a god complex, yeah. can it not? It can. There's got to be those rock and roll instincts that take over that say, hey, I need to go out into the crowd secure the hottest female I can possibly secure, <laughs> and take her back to my trailer. This is, what kind of interview is this? A truthful one. Once again, Twinkle Time is more of a, a family show, definitely for kids. 
So you don't have a trim coordinator? I don't think so. Do you know what a trim coordinator is? I don't think so. It's a guy with a clipboard and a mullet who goes out into the audience, finds the best looking women and gives them backstage passes. Um, I don't think I'm there yet. And given the audience we saw you performing in front of, I think the passes should have a picture of Barney on them. The, oh, I mean, that could work as well. Mm -hmm. I'll think about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your closer? Kids Rock. Kids Rock. Because they do. I heard during the climax of Kids Rock, you are notorious for pulling out your penis and wrapping it around the microphone stand. And then spinning the microphone stand like the propeller on an airplane. So fucking cool. I don't think that's me. Kids Rock, what's your name again, man? I'm Zeke. Kids Rock, Kids Rock, Zeke's got a cool trick. Kids Rock, Kids Rock, he pulls out his dick. Kids Rock, Kids Rock, ties it round the microphone. Kids Rock, Kids Rock, then the kids all go home. And their parents contact the local authorities because what Zeke did is indecent exposure. Wow. Twinkle time! Oh boy. Do you know this imposter? I don't think you should. It's, I think it's a bad idea. I think it's a great idea. I, no, I disagree with you. And I think if you put me on as a backup dancer, no. woo, the energy's gonna be high. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Check out these moves. Okay. Going back. You like a move traveling back. Are you trying to get me hurt, Zeke? I'm just trying to not make you look What's your name? Yeah. What? What's your name? My name's Danny. Danny, nice mm -hmm. to meet you. You are the story lead singer of Twinkle Time. Oh, oh, the story. We've heard a lot about you. Oh. And boy, do you have some pipes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very impressive. Thank you. I love your guitarist, Zeke, by the way. <laughs> He's amazing. He was being modest, saying, eh, it's just a prop. Yeah, it's just an inflatable toy. I said, no. <laughs> Got some moves. He does have some, does mm -hmm. have some moves. Uh, <laughs> some really good mm -hmm. moves. <laughs> so, Twinkle Time. Yes. Let's take a band vote. Okay. And Zeke doesn't get a vote. Can I be a backup dancer? Oh my God, I gotta see these moves, of course. First, I'm gonna come out juggling. I'm gonna come out, I'm just gonna stare the audience down. Hey, you and the Dora Explorer shirt, pipe down. Okay, that, that, that's a little scary there though. It's called discipline. <laughs> it's a hallmark of good parroting. Hey, Dora the Explorer, get lost. And then I'm gonna have to find another ball. But there'll be balls, not rocks. Okay, okay. Well, like, we just lost your crowd that way. No, no. <laughs> or you just establish yourself as the most edgy child performance group of all time. Do you know how to dance? Yeah, I'm not good. I, I think we both be backup dancers for Twinkle Time. Um, I would, you know, and I teach them how to dance, but I got the law won't let me do that. It's <laughs> against the law for you to dance with Twinkle Time and also to go within 50 yards of a preschool. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, well guys, yeah. we're gonna be eager audience members for Twinkle Time's next performance. We can't wait. Oh, all right, so you're all the way in the back. This guy looks like the rock and roll manager. Just okay. Let me look over these contracts, buddy. <laughs> Extra merch? Yeah. Not, um, I'm gonna give you my shirt right now. Well, is it gonna be, I feel like somebody's gonna tackle me if I take my shirt off in a children's Old West reenactment. You're no, you're good, you're good. Oh. Unfortunately, you guys aren't the arbiters of California law. They wanted a merchandise handout. What are you gonna do? Oh, it's an NFT, too. It's an NFT. Oh. Market value, 12 grand. Ah. Merch? Hey. Huh? Oh, uh, who asked first? Yeah, he asked first. We gotta give it to him, right? Okay. Yeah. I just wanna let you know. Yes. Because, sorry, I don't know who you are. I was just informed that you're like a YouTuber, but I have to protect my brand. Yeah, you know, it was just, I mean, it was really Zeke who started regaling us with tales from the tour bus. And we were like, Zeke, 26 Modellos in one night? I don't think 15 so. women? So just. Jesus, you, know, you were Robert Plant reborn. I know. What's up, everybody? We're gonna hop right back into the action. The Ghost Town Climax is coming. I bet you can feel it. But before we do, I just wanna say that the Danny Mullen versus Abe Lincoln annual hoodie is live. When I was a kid, Old Navy always used to do their flag hoodies. Well, this is my answer to that. It's me and some Union soldiers strangling Abe as he reads the Gettysburg Address. Please, guys, we got all kinds of merch. We got the NFTs, coffee cups, hats, new designs coming up all the time. Please grab an Abe Lincoln hoodie and maybe some other shit on there. Support the channel. Keep us on the road doing awesome stuff. 
on the road right now, baby. Look at the scars, look at the cauliflower here. Coming next Friday, subscribe. I just have to protect my brand. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I mean, the story Zeke was telling us, playing Russian roulette till the sun came up with Dave Grohl. Holy shit. Holy Rock shit. Star, All right, so right back on it, right back on it. There are two ways to capture a child audience. I know it's your shtick, but don't do that. I don't want to get strong-armed by your sleazy rock and roll manager now. Is that where this what is going? Are, what are you doing? Are you trying, to, trying to be TikTok famous or something? No, he's a YouTuber. I wish. He's TikTok famous? Him. That'd be a dream. I'm trying to promote my merchandise, actually. Yeah, okay. We would love to help you promote your merchandise, but you're kind of being an asshole. Well, no, that's so. Zeke was telling me all the crazy stories of partying. No, he's out of control, man. I think you should actually be more careful about who you're managing. Really? I'm actually the brand. Do well, I mean, Zeke's your guitarist. You got to give him some credit. Saying I'm the brand is egotistical. No, it's not. Those things never end well. Think about Roger Waters. I mean, David Gilmore. Yeah. yeah. What's his? I know you're jealous, buddy. I know you're jealous. We can talk. We can split our audience right down the middle. You just got to play ball. You got to let me get up there and backup dance. Good role models are what they're looking for, not this. Kid. Personally, I'm here for the smoking speed and the Korean hooker. Yeah! <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. Another family recruited to our side. You get Saddam Hussein, and sir, you get a big handshake. And my word that I'll buy you a beer if you want another one. Oh, I always want another one. Well, <laughs> let's find the saloon. I was approached by some bizarre individual saying that I am inappropriate and disgusting and uh, a couple other choice words. He seemed to want to fight me for some bizarre reason. Was it twinkle time again? I have no idea. Their uh, manager seems violent. Young young man, you know, whatever. We, uh, we just saw a guy walk by who was filming with his thing. Okay, you might need to leave. I understand filming with your phone. You can ask inappropriate questions. We just bought a beer for one of your cowboys. Yeah, we did. We just bought a beer. Watch we're this. Spreading joy. Watch okay. this. Spreading joy. What? Come with us, man. Hey, man. Okay, I'm a fan of your work. I'm a fan of your work. Not your performance art. You sleeping in this wheelbarrow. I got a little something for you. Nope. What? He's, no beer. He's, got a gun on. He's passed out drunk. What are you talking about? He can't have a beer. Yeah, what did I say? I don't want a beer. No. He's got a bottle of wine in his lap. He doesn't have a bottle of wine. It's water. I don't believe you. All right. That might be you the excuse you use. You need to leave. You need to leave my people alone, and you need to leave my car for I don't understand this. I thought this was an Old West show. We got a drunk cowboy. I'm trying to buy him a beer, and you guys are giving me grief for it. And I told because you no, and you should have listened right away. You can't even see straight right now. You're seeing plague doctors. You're hallucinating you're so drunk. You're seeing bleach cow skull ghosts in ghillie suits. Sir, you're hammered. You're the one passed out. All right. We're going to get out of here. Him. We, we owe oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We owe you a beer. Hey, thank you, sir. Uh, Sequence Jiu-Jitsu in Norco, California. We have two fighters in the UFC right now. Hey, all hail Elio Gracie. Yeah, I'm, let's all be Americans here. Okay? I'm saying. You're kicking us out. We paid the fucking fees. Yeah. Now let us fucking walk out. Yeah. Let us walk out, like Chad said. Only because they brought the sheriff to get us out. Hey. Don't I like you, like man. Alex Baldwin, bro. The, the sheriff's kicking us out of town. <laughs> It was inevitable, wasn't it? Wasn't it inevitable that the sheriff was going to kick us out of town? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you fancy yourself fast with that six shooter, pal? Right. If you and I did our paces, you wouldn't even clear leather. Ha! Did I say it right? Oh! oh! You would never clear leather. You, you would never clear, clear leather, man. I'm the real sheriff of Calico Ghost Town, and I'm the only worthy entertainer. Twinkle time is a disgrace. Now off the Joshua Tree to meet up with some of the crew.
Enough for the two of us. <laughs> I agree with you there, partner. Shoo, buddy. That's actually this is a sensitive subject right now. We just got chased out of an old West town by some fake sheriff. Oh yeah, I believe it's on bed. I should have asked that guy for his badge. Left left told me there's a serial killer loose out here. There is. He's killed seven people. I heard. That's a lot of people to let him go unabated. <laughs> I got six guns in the car though. I think that should probably do the trick. Mm -hmm. That's almost one for everybody who died. Pretty fucking much. Mm. You ready to raise some hell, buddy? Yeah. Let's fucking go. Yeah. yeah. Joseph. How old are Yo, these kids? I don't know. I don't know. Why do you know 10 year olds? <laughs> Where's your dad at? His back won't start. Oh, some bitch. Tell him to uh, wait for the grease piston to recede. Tell him that. Wait for the grease piston to recede. Tell him to check his tire wait, PSI. Did you check the, the blinker fluid? No, the tire PSI. Come on. The tire PSI? Don't make a joke of this. Oh, candy? I told you it was the PSI! It was the tire PSI! I told you! All right. Lead us to the way. Wait, wait, how old are you guys? I'm 13, 12. Are you guys the fans of the band Twinkle Time? <laughs> if I find out that you've been coming out here every Saturday filming 13 year olds booze in the middle of the desert, <laughs> I'll still hang out with you, but I'll be upset. <laughs> yeah. Man, you fixing it already? I'd uh, be proud to offer my mechanical services. <laughs> I got your bike started, bub. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was the PSI. Oh, yeah, his gasket converter is out of control here. Yeah, yeah you're smart. Hey, I am. <laughs> Some boys. I was in shop in high school. What is this, an 80cc? Uh, That's a 125. It's a three-stroke? Three strokes, yeah. Cool. Yeah, those jumps are gnarly. How do you come off those? It's easy. You hit the gap. Where do you land? I don't know. All the way up there? Dude, he comes, they come fucking coming hot. Dude, they land on the backside? That is a huge jump. Uh. Good to see you, 2079. What's up, man? I'm Ross. Goodyear Tires, the best in the off-roading business. He had to work on his right away. They're the best. I wasn't working on it. You can't fault me on that. That's always good, too. He got upset. He thinks I'm posing as far as my knowledge of machinery. Evil Knievel over here. Listen, I know my stuff, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's <pissed. laughs> I, ain't going that way. <laughs> I think it's really these dumbasses' fault for driving off the road I a quarter mile that way. Shit, my wife's Camry makes it up here. My wife's Camry makes it up here. His wife's Camry. Come on, that's only a four cylinder. Yeah. Look at that shaved head. Just walk. Yeah, this American muscle, you got it? I hate you, Austin. If anything's wrong with the car, it's coming out of Danny's uh, film budget. So. You can run, but you can't hide. Nice, some merchandise from 2002. And then on some of this, Dino? Oh yeah. Dude, you guys look like you're gonna curb stop a minority. <laughs> yeah, what gas station do you guys work at? Do these guys not look like they're gonna curb stomp a minority? But long range, this thing's hell on wheels, huh? I don't know, I don't really like the suspension on it too much. Uh, is it aftermarket? I don't know what all's on it. Looks like uh, a Guinness 187. <laughs> well, that's the, high, that's the hydraulic sphere. Oh, shit, I didn't see the hydraulic. Yeah, screen. you gotta watch that. A rare miss for me. I I'm talking springs. about what makes this shock absorb. The hydraulic sphere, duh. Re read a book. Yeah. Open a manual on a piece of machinery for once in your life, okay? <laughs> this guy doesn't even know a 386 from an SRC. 
You don't even know what you're talking about. Say it to my face. You don't even know what you're talking about. Well, you got the flapper tube 6,000 or is it the 5,000? <laughs> the flapper 6,000? Yeah. It sounds like a blowjob machine from the 1920s. Chad, would it be all right if uh, we got in the car with you and did some donuts out in this fucker? We've been having a good time out here. These guys have been indulging in some substances. I've been indulging in <laughs> my love for engines. And I'm about to cap off that love for engines by getting in this machine. It's me, it's the flap, it's MAGA Kid. It's MAGA Kid Dino. Hey. Simultaneously hey. repping the Lakers. Let's go, boy! Hey. Hey. And we got Chad behind the wheel. Yeah. Animal, dude. Animal. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, dude. Let's go. We're gonna cut back to the footage, but if you want to see a man genuinely begging for his life, look no further than when Chad lined up on the big jump. No, not the gnarly one. Not the. No, 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 no. Please, no. Hey, please, no. Not the gnarly one, dude. I can't do that shit. I gotta be more country. My hat broke. Your hat broke? You know, that's actually pretty Western, that I had a Western hat, and I was being so Western, the Western hat couldn't take it. You sent it so hard, it couldn't sound bitch with you. Mm-mm. Mm. And, you know, mud flap, what was today if not a Western day? Today was a redneck Fact. and a half day. <laughs> Please like the video. Subscribe if you're still lingering and you haven't done that. Joshua Tree, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my evening. Let's do some mushrooms! Stay away, stay away! Ah! He's not hard to outrun, he's not hard. <laughs> he's not hard to outrun. He's already gassed. <laughs> it's still coming. <laughs>